Hi my loves, welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. Um, the message I have for today is laughing at it, sure. The scripture comes from John 13, 18 through 30. I am not referring to all of you. I know those I have chosen, but this is to fulfill this passage of scripture. He who shared my bread has turned against me. I am telling you now before it happens, so that when it does happen, you will believe that I am who I am. Very truly, I tell you, whoever accepts anyone I send accepts me, and whoever accepts me accepts the one who sent me. After he said this, Jesus was troubled in spirit and testified. Very truly, I tell you, one of you is going to betray me. His disciples stared at one another at a loss to know which one of them he meant. One of them, the disciple who Jesus loved, was reclining next to him. Simon Peter mentioned to this disciple and asked and said, ask him which one he means. Leaning back against Jesus, he asked him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, it is the one to whom I will give this piece of bread when I have dipped it in a dish. Then dipping the piece of bread, he gave it to Judas, the son of Simon Issachar. As soon as Judas took the bread, Satan entered him. So Jesus told him, what you are about to do, do quickly. But no one at the meal understood why Jesus said this to him. Since Judas had changed charge of the money, some thought Jesus was telling him to buy what was needed for the festival or to give something to the poor. As soon as Judas had taken the bread, he went out and it was night. God is saying that for someone, there is someone that is planning to betray you. There is someone that is planning to betray you. This is someone that you 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 would give your last to. This is someone that you care about deeply. This is somebody that is in your inner circle. Somebody that you 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 uphold a lot of respect for them. You love them, you care about them, you cherish them. God is telling me right now, Jesus already died on the cross. So what this person is planning for you is not going to transpire. What this person is planning is not going to happen. It is going to fail and it will backfire on them. God says that they even know that you know. You know. You have already called them out on it. You have already told them what they are doing. You have already talked about what they are doing. And they laugh. At the fact that you have talked about it and continue to carry on with what they are doing. God says, allow them. They are writing their own check. They are writing their own punishment. Because what happened to Judas after, after what he did happen, he took his own life. God says that this person is doing this to themselves. They think they are doing it to you. But they can't do anything to you. Jesus has already been the ultimate sacrifice. They think that they can sacrifice. They cannot sacrifice you. They cannot have your energy. They cannot have your aura. They cannot have your anointing. They can try. They have been trying and trying and trying, and it just never works. And for some reason, they are so stubborn and stupid out here that they keep thinking that if they try hard enough, they are going to be able to take your aura. They're going to take your energy. They're going to take your anointing. They're going to take your blessings. They can't have it. God says whatever they are planning and plotting behind your back is going to fall on at, at their feet. It's going to fall on them and it is going to be bad. It's going to be worse for them than they plan for it to be for you. And that is the prophecy. God says that is a prophecy. He promises. He promises that is what is going to happen. God said, mark my words. What they are planning for you is going to fall at their feet and it's going to be worse than what they plan for you. That's the message. Baby, God says they laughing now. Not for long. What they... Like, I can feel the energy that God is giving me right now. This, is, this makes God angry what this person is doing. They really want to sacrifice you. And I know those of you that are a nerd like me, and you look into all the little videos are i used to i don't do that no more but i used to look into all the little videos where they talk about people trying to sacrifice this and they sacrifice that and they do this and they do that this is somebody that's into that kind of stuff and they're trying to sacrifice you they've been trying to sacrifice you for a while god says what they plan for you is going
going to fall at their feet and it is going to be worse for them than they planned on it being for you. And that's the message. That is the message. Lord, God is not happy with this person. I pray that God have mercy on them. That's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.